In this video, we're going to show you how to install the camshaft position sensor on your Toyota RAV4 located on the top side of your engine. With your hood open, go ahead and locate your battery. We're going to use a 10 millimeter wrench, loosen the ground terminal nut here. Go ahead and grab that terminal, pull it off, and set it aside. With the ground terminal disconnected on the battery, we can go ahead and lift up the engine cover here. Just reach around the edges, gently pull up. Go ahead and set that aside. Now along the top side of the engine here, this being the V6, we have two cam position sensors. On the front side of this valve cover right here, there's one right here. And on the back side, there's one right over here. Now both of these remove and install the same as each other. This is gonna be a 10 millimeter bolt. You wanna go ahead and disconnect the uh, electrical connector here. Now in our particular case, we have a little bit of debris and oil spillage here, probably from our oil fill cap. If you have that, you wanna go ahead and clean that up because you're gonna be exposing the internals to the engine here. You don't want any of this debris falling inside. We're simply gonna use some spray solvent. Clean up around this here. If you just have some light debris, you can go ahead and use an air hose or compressed air to clean up around that. Now that we have that where we want it, we can go ahead and separate the connector right here. There's a little pinch tab on the back here. You can pinch that. And I'm gonna use a small flathead pocket screwdriver right on the edge here. Sometimes that connector can be a little tough. And ours is, I'm simply gonna use a pair of pliers like this here to gently just pinch that connector and then pry that up and off like so. Just set that aside. Using a 10 millimeter socket with our extension, we're just gonna go ahead and pop that free. Remove that bolt, set that aside. Now this is held in with a rubber O-ring into the valve cover. So what we'll do is, and gently twist this. And sometimes you can wiggle this out. Sometimes you need assistance of a little pocket screwdriver while you're wiggling that out. And there it is. Let's pop that out. Now you want to make sure that the surface here is clean and ours is. Now I did put a little bit of engine oil around the O-ring itself that's going to help that slide into place. Simply line that up and push it in. Get our bolt started there. I'm going to gently snug this down because this does require a torque spec. I'm gonna to torque this down to 8.9 foot-pounds. There it is. Now that we have the sensor installed, go ahead and grab that harness, line that up, press that down. You can feel and hear the connector install. Now if you happen to have to replace the back one, it's just as easy on the back side there. Go ahead and do so. At this point here, go ahead and grab that cover, line this up. Push the cover down. You can feel it snap onto the metal studs there with the rubber grommet. Now that we have our engine cover on, connect your battery. Install your ground terminal. Push that down. Make sure it's good and snug. Give that terminal a pull, it's nice and tight. At this point here, if you have a check engine light, you wanna go ahead and clear that code, take it for road test, and at that point there, you're all set. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.